I decided to make a stop off on my way to the airport. The International Game Fishing Association, for me, it's a childhood dream because all my life I've dreamed about catching big fish. I've been in game fishing clubs. It's one of those things I've always wanted to do. Hello, Thank Al. you so much yes. for having me to the IGF. Yes, Bye. welcome, welcome. This is our crown jewel here, the E.K. Harry Library of Fishes, and it's something that we're very proud of, our keeping of records and keeping, chronicling the history of our sport. The first part of our library here, as you can see, we receive fishing publications from all over the world in many different languages. Good ones there. Yeah, nice photo, huh? <laughs> and as you can see here, in addition to publications, there's a lot of artifacts around here, too. This is our rare books room. So this is it, all the old original photos. Yes, we have from Mike Lerner, the founder of IGFA. Uh, these are archives of his expeditions around the world. We have some first edition, Zane Gray, Hemingway, uh, Philip Wiley, who was on the board of IGFA. And a lot of people don't realize that Ernest Hemingway was vice president of IGFA oh, wow. up yep. until his death. But a, a lot of these things here chronicle IGFA's early efforts of research, um, something that we're continuing today, 76 years later. Thus it is that while the learners and the expedition members are having great sport, they are, at the same time, adding immeasurably to scientific research and study of these ocean habitats. So this is the records room. But this is one of the most uh, central things in uh, IGFA. Our records are one of the things we're most known for. You've got to pull out an Australian one for us. So here we go. we got one here. This is the men's 20-pound or 10-kilo line class record for black marlin. And this was caught back in 1976. I was 1, only three years old then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is even the oldest one we have on file. This is your line testing machine. This is where all the world records are done? The line submitted for each world record is tested on this machine. Uh, the reason we do that is to make sure that the angler is actually using the line that they're claiming. What is line classes? Just for the average, for the game fishers they know, but the average bloke might not know. Right. So basically, we keep line class category records for a variety of different line classes. It's basically a way to recognize angling achievement on, on light tackle versus heavy tackle. So what do we got here? This is a sample of 10 kilo tournament rated line. So what happens here is the bottom jaw remains stationary. The top jaw moves up at a speed of 10 inches per minute. And that's just stretching the monofilament right out. Exactly. And it'll stretch, stretch, stretch. And then there you go, it breaks and it basically records the, the strength of the line. We test it five times, and then we take the average of those five breaks for the uh, for the, what's used for the record. Visiting the IGFA and meeting Rob and the boys was a fantastic way to wrap up my Everglades adventure. Always happy to show a fellow angler around, Al. Absolute pleasure. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. You know, fishing means so much to me, especially game fishing. So it's really important that we keep all the history. You know, we record what's happening so, so future generations can see how it was and how it is and how it's going to be.